What do we know about the effects of hunting? Critics say that hunters are animal murderers, driven only by their desire to kill. But the effects of hunting cannot be reduced in such a simple way. Hunting is synonymous with the conservation of nature and wildlife. But what is it exactly? It means, for example, creating and protecting habitats for wildlife. But hunting also means reducing wildlife populations to prevent damages on forests and fields. An increasingly cultivated landscape, intense traffic and settlements limit the wildlife habitats. In the modified agricultural landscapes where tasty savoury corn, canola and wheat are grown, populations of roe and red deer as well as wild boar increase rapidly. Climate change is causing an excessive supply of food, like acorns and beech nuts in the forest. These new sources of food and mild winters further promote the population growth of adaptable species like wild boar. Such cases of overpopulation are particularly dangerous as they pose a threat of epidemics such as the swine flu in wild boar and domestic pigs. Additionally, rare and specialised species lose their livelihood. Vaccination baits have eradicated rabies, but it led to an increase in the fox population, which nearly wiped out its prey. Fox hunting, therefore, is an essential part of conservation. The same applies to invasive species like the raccoon. You see, hunting protects and promotes the establishment of species-rich fauna. Before a hunter can embark on their journey, he or she must pass their hunting exam. This is sustainability in practice. And game meat not only tastes delicious, it's also healthy and is often present in traditional regional cuisine. Hunting protects the habitat of wildlife and connects people with the pleasures of nature, both of which are duties of a hunter. Hunting is one of the oldest occupations in humanity and is a vital part of society, in the past as well as in the present.